Hello and welcome. Today we are going to create a digital scrapbook layout using a template. Let's get started. First, um, I should start off by saying I'm using Photoshop CS4. This technique will work in pretty much any graphics editor you can think of. Um, let's take a look around my workspace. Here you have our basic tools, our navigator, our layers palette, and our history state. These are pretty much the basics that you'll want to start working with. If you don't see any of these on your workstation, then you simply just want to go to Window, and you'll find all of these here. Your history state, you can toggle it on or off. And your layers palette as well as your navigator. Okay, that should be enough to get you started. Now, let's go. First off, we're going to navigate to our folder containing the template we wish to use. And I am going to choose this one. This is pretty much a sketch template and I'm going to highlight it, drag it, and drop it right onto our workspace. Okay, the very first thing we're going to do and you always want to remember to do this to any of your digital scrapbook files is immediately duplicate your layer and you can do this very easily in your history palette by simply clicking on duplicate state now you have a brand new copy of the existing file since you have that you can go ahead and close out your original this will preserve your original for working with again and again and you don't have to worry about any mistakes. The next thing we're going to do is open up our layers tablet. Um, generally the layers tablet is found here within your channels and, pa and paths but I've dragged mine here so that we can have a clear view of exactly what we're working on today. Expand our layers palette and now you can see all of the different layers that make up our um, layer template. Your background and as I toggle the visual switch you can see these turn on and off. So this is the very bottom background, your edge. Uh, this is a drop shadow for your um, main background layer. And basically now you have some accents, some uh, color blocking strips. And this template comes with access space for six photographs. So you have from photo one to photo six. We also have journaling and a title. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way to the top, adding our very bottommost background layer. And you get started by clicking on your layers tablet, activating the background layer. Just click on it anywhere. Now we're going to open up a folder containing the scrapbook uh, papers and elements that we want to use. I'm using It's Only Natural by Veronica Spriggs which is also me and we're going to go with the darkest background drag our drag our background onto our working area click on the background and holding down your shift key drag it right onto your template you can close that out once you're done with it and now you see that your new paper has replaced your background layer. Since you're done with that, you can go ahead and delete that layer. Now we're going to add our scalloped edge. This basically should be a highlight color that's going to accent the, the background and the main paper layer. So I'm going to choose a nice light color with a little bit of uh, different tones to it. And we're going to click on the scalloped edge area. It's already activated and dragging our background holding down the shift key 
and you'll see that it's now directly above our scalloped edge layer. Holding down the control key, we're going to click dead center of the scalloped edge and this is going to select the area that we want to use. I'm going to now select any one of my selector tools. Right click, layer via cut. And what this is going to do, it's going to cut out the scalloped shape and leave the remainder on a different layer. Since we're done with this background paper, we're going to close it out. Coming back to our scalloped edge, this is the remainder that's been cut away. And as you see, if I turn it off, it just shows now that we just have our beautiful scalloped background. So this layer, as you can tell, is no longer needed. We're going to just go ahead and delete it. You're done with this, so we're going to go ahead and delete it. Now on to our rounded background layer. You can see that this is moving along very quickly. Uh, creating with templates is a very simple and easy way to get started with your scrapbooking layouts. Okay, now once again, holding down the shift key, we drag our layer, close out our original file, And once again, we're going to hold down the control key because we want to make a selection. Click on our rounded background layer, anywhere on the center square here, and that's going to select out the shape of the layer and choose our selector tool. You can choose from the shapes, the uh, lasso or the magic wand, either one, it doesn't matter. And right click, layer via cut. If you were to choose layer via copy, it would do the exact same thing, only now, instead of having the cutout pattern, you would simply have two layer layers. One would be the shape, and one would be the original file that you were working with. Uh, I don't need this, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Now, You've already got a beautiful background to tell your story. You've got your main background paper, a beautiful decorative bordered edge, scallop bordered edge, and your main background. Moving right along, you see here we have some accent strips. Now this is basically color blocking and you can use different uh, colored background papers to create these accents or you can use a element that is a ribbon, a border, or anything that can add a beautiful decorative edge here along your um, strip areas. We have strip one, strip two, and then we have larger color blocks. So with this strip two, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate our main background here to bring that accent in. So I'm going to go down to our background layer. I'm going to hold down my activate layer strip two, hold down my control key and click directly on the image. Go down to my bottom background layer. Select, choose a selector right click layer via copy and that's going to bring that up and we're going to drag that layer the created copied layer up above strip 2 so now you can see that that's been brought in I'm going to delete that strip 2 since we're done with it and now we're going to do the same thing on strip layer 1 I'm going to once again use an accent from the scallop border edge so activating strip 2 holding down my control key clicking now go down to layer three right click layer via copy and we're going to bring that up above layer strip one and delete that because we're done with it now for strip layer three i'm going to add a little more dimension to the page and I'm going to choose a frame border. It has sort of a um, torn edge to it. And I'm going to drag that onto our template layer. 
and position it along with strip three. Drag this up above strip layer three. And now you can see you have a, a really nice textured and torn edge. Because it's not quite long enough, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it and bring it down just a little bit more and merge that layer with the original so that it's just one layer. And we're gonna choose Merge Down. Go ahead and delete the original file. Not delete it, just close it out. And now we are onto our color blocking layers. Color block number one, which is a large layer, is main accent color. For this, we wanna choose something that definitely is going to have a lot of uh, color to it just to add some different accents to our page and I'm going to go with this blue here we're going to drag it in I'm going to try and get some of the dark darker tones here and bring it right down above our color block number one hold down your control key click and layer via copy delete the original and sure that looks great close out our original now we're going to do the same thing for color block number two we click on this layer so that when we drag our layer it's going to go right above and we won't have so much extra work to do Um, this time we're going to use a darker color, the brown. Line it up where you think it'll be. I like this dark color, so I'm going to go with that. Control key. Click. And layer via copy. Or cut whichever you prefer and delete the extra layer since we won't be using that anymore and close out your original this is coming together are you getting excited I am okay right now I'm going to toggle off my journaling just so that um, I can get a better visual of what I'm doing here now it's time to add our photos. This came together so quickly. This is what templates are all about. It's getting your scrapbooking done, getting it done beautifully, and getting it done quickly. Now I have my photos already cut just for the sake of saving time. And I am going to go ahead and place them into position. Uh, this template calls for up to six photos you could certainly add a second one over in this area I mean a seventh one over in this area or more if you desire or you could certainly add less photos it's up to you use your creativity to bring your template to life okay we're going to drag these photos into position get started by once again clicking on your photo areas you have six photos one two three four, five, and six. And I think that I'm going to use maybe just four photos and do some more accenting. Okay, drag photo one into place. We're going to click on the layer here using our move tool and then drag it into position. I should have clicked on the photo one first because that way I wouldn't have to do this extra step now. But that's okay, because it's very easily remedied. Now I have the larger framed photos that I want to use for the accent along the center column. This little girl is so adorable. Okay, and now as you can see, I've, I've got just four photos ready to go. 